to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I've been on my channel filming a video. Today I brought myself back with a first impressions slash a um, my go-to, my quick go-to um, foundation routine. This is the kind of makeup I wear when I'm really just like in a rush or I really don't want to wear a lot of eye makeup. I want my makeup to be very simple and very glamorous and very dewy and glowy skin. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope, um, I hope you guys like it. Um, and I hope that you guys at least try some of the products that I do use on an everyday basis. All the products that I do use will be listed below in the description box. All my social media links will be listed. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did create a completely new Instagram page for my business and my work. And so that will be linked below as well as my personal one if you guys want to follow that one. But I am more on my business one than I am my personal one anymore. Um, and as a quick update for my life, um, I've completed almost a year of cosmetology school. I have two weeks left at Palm Mitchell, the school of Modesto, and, um, then I take state board March 2nd, so I'm really excited about that. Um, as you guys can tell, I made a comeback and I cut my hair off. I have a little, it's a little lob, um... And I colored my hair red. It looks like it's coming up more orangey on camera. I can't tell. But it is red in person. And I love my red hair. Um, but anyways, like I've said in every video, um, be kind to one another and share the love. And until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a first impression slash a my quick and easy go-to makeup routine so I always start out with my brows first as you can tell I have like no eyebrows naturally and what I like to use is I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills I use a combination of the dip brow in medium brown and then her brow powder in medium brown I was using the brow definer but I really wasn't a huge fan of it so I'm going to start out by doing my brows So for the brow, I just did this one brow and then I'll do this one off camera. But then to carve out, I either use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. Or I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Porcelain. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape considering the fact that I have more of this than the LA Girl. Okay, so moving on with the rest of the eyes. Um, for this look, I really just like my eyes to look pretty, not plain, but um, I like it to be more highlighted and dewy on my brow bone in my inner corner. So, but I am going to prime my eyes to cover up the veininess in my eyelids. Um, so, I normally use Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Um, and right now I'm like running bare on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and I apply this normally with a BH brush. I apply... No, that's not the BH one. This is the BH 129. Um, I just use this to stipple it on and then I kind of blend it out with the beauty sponge. I went ahead and I went in with the Equates Beauty um, Moisturizer. So first off, I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And since I have pretty large visible pores on my nose, this is a tip and a trick that I learned from James Charles and everybody's been doing it. And I started to do this. I apply it to my nose as well as my chin. Because my chin has really large pores. And then I just take the Real Technique sponge and blend it in. So for the foundation today, I normally use Clinique um, Beyond Perfecting Foundation in Buttermilk. But I wanted to try out the... LA Girl Pro Pro Coverage HD um, foundation. This is in natural. I take it with 
I'm going to do one side with the e.l.f. Um, flat buffing and then the BH stippling. So I'm going to do half and half. During this portion, I noticed that the foundation had more of a chemical like smell to it, but the difference between the two different brushes and the application on each side of the face was pretty much the same. It was just blending out any lines with the beauty sponge that made the difference. <laughs> under eye brightening and highlighting I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Porcelain. Um, I just put this underneath my eyes only because I feel like the shape tape is too heavy um, by itself underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take this and I take the shape tape and I dab a little of this with the LA Girl. And then a little on the nose, upper lip, chin, forehead, and then I do a line and then I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan. Then I go in and blend out the highlighter first. Okay, so my face is now done with that portion. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my all this product with the Ben Nye Neutral Set. This is a huge, huge tub of it. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the new Tarte Double Duty Beauty um, Contour and Highlighting. Um, it's the Sculpt and Highlighting Duo. Um, it looks like this. Swirl it around. Top off any excess. And I'm just lightly... And I'm lightly dusting my forehead with it too. This is the sculpting powder. It's not the bronzer. So I'm going to put that down for now. And then I'm going to go in with the my new... It's the number 7 um, bronzer from Target. It's in shade Caramel. So this is the that number 7 brand. I just picked this up the other day wanting to try it out. Um, I'm taking this BH Pro blush brush and um, and I'm just dusting this on top of it to add some warmth to my face. Now, um, now I'm gonna do the actual like highlighting with the highlighter. I normally put on blush first and then sculpt out my contour and then I put on lashes and blah 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 blah. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to use, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the highlighting portion which I flipping love this highlighter in here. It is so pretty. I'm going to tap into the powder Tap any excess off, and then I'm just gonna lightly start to dust this on. The right above the brow. So now, now that the highlighting, the highlighting, the highlighter is on, now I'm going to go in with blush. 
Um, this is just a trick that I want to try. Um, and I'm going to use today, I'm going to use the Buxom Intoxicate Blush with the Morphe E4 um, Angled Blush Brush. I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to, like, um, not really carve out, but sculpt out my contour. Okay, so now that that is baking, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop on my lashes. Now, the lashes that I like to wear um, that are like my simple, not, not natural, well, they're kind of natural, but they're very just easy, comfortable lashes for an everyday wear. And they are, they these ones have been used, but these are the Cara Lashes in Style 43. I like either the Style 43 or the 48 for like an everyday wear. Alrighty, so I popped on my lashes. Um, this is how they look. This pair, um, I accidentally ripped off the like inner corner this morning. I didn't mean to, but I still make them work. Um, now moving and finishing up the eyes and the face. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that same highlighter in the Tarte um, palette. And I'm going to take it on a Morphe 508 brush. And I'm going to place this right on the brow bone. And I pop it on the inner corner as well. So moving on to the lips. Um, I tend to like to wear a nude lipstick. I'm not really into like red lip colors on my skin tone. That's just how I am. Um, today I'm going to be using the MAC Honey Love lipstick. This one is like almost gone. It's sad. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to pair it with the Buxom White Russian um lip cream so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray my face with the pixie um, glow mist shake it up really well and I'm just gonna spray my face with this so there was that setting spray that I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day in Lemongrass. I shake this up as well. I feel like I get a better mist when I shake it up. And then I'm just going to spray my face with this one. 